period the end of it done no further right because if you look at the british system if you look at the queen the, the whole the whole um uh, uh, um royal system that's that royally f jamaica consistently because i think that they prevent jamaica from in, even enacting certain laws that could help the crime in jamaica that they have to they, they have to follow by what these people are saying that so is jamaica true. is not benefiting from the whole thing that's setting up there so with him going further and take it a step further like shani b said jamaica have a pa issue only pa issue economically and crime ridden right no we just see like we talk about the, the, the uh, uh, mr rang who judge rang judge rang who beat up a woman mm -hmm. take a chair and lick a woman in her face mm -hmm. right jamaica we shouldn't be so jamaica for real we should be so embarrassed right now that a man get up and take a chair lick a woman in her face and treat the woman in the way that he did and he's a member. and it's and it's recorded on video he's a member of parliament that makes it even worse and then this guy got not even get picked up let me not say pick up by the police they invite him in for <laughs> questioning okay he gets invited in for questioning and he goes in for questioning and you're telling me that there's not one prosecutor in jamaica can look at that video and recognize that this man abused this woman and it was wrong and that this man need to pay a price you're gonna right. tell me that there's no charges That's against any walk out of that station like Come on, I, man. I, I, this is the it's thing. a joke. This is the thing. With Definitely. Them. And you see, even like you touch on that with the prosecutor being able to go after the politician, it, it just the system is weak. It know, is. Because yeah? you see, like in America, right, if a, something like this happen and the person is going to a police station and walk off, there's a prosecutor that's going to come after you. Of course. You're going right? to be prosecuted. And, and the prosecutor is motivated to, 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 um, to put the person behind bars. Absolutely. Because the prosecutor knows that, hey, I'm going to get promoted. And that's going to build my career. That's going to build my career. Need that, that Jamaica, Jamaica needs that system. Jamaican prosecutors don't have that drive right. to do that. Right. You understand? Everything falls under... And they're afraid of the politician too. They're afraid. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it falls under the DPP office, which mm -hmm. is um, Paula Lowell. Mm -hmm. And she is the, the main um, prosecutor in the country. Right? Mm -hmm. And I don't understand the system because... To me, it always seems like uh, maybe I could be wrong, people, but it doesn't seem like Jamaica have like a system where you have multiple prosecutors go after. Right, right. Yes, and like right. I did with different offices. Right, right. Everybody is on a one uh, roof, and then, yeah, and then exactly. everyone decide we not do it, we not do it. Another exactly. prosecutor can pick it up and say, "Yo, so, this that happened, so which if, is wrong." If if it, if everything is on the one roof, right? If Jamaica, you know, just have one um like branch of prosecutors in Jamaica, mm -hmm. I I sub, I propose that each parish. Has should have their own prosecutors. Uh, yeah, absolutely. Should have their own prosecutor. Independent of anything yeah, else. Each parish should have its own prosecutor and its own um pr uh, like prosecutor um department or right, office. Right. You understand? Right. Because that no that separate like the, 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 the system, the bureaucracy. Right. Uh, you understand? Because you know, if you have one you know, one um office that's mm -hmm. saying they are the prosecutor for yeah. the whole island. Yeah. Right? It's more likely for corruption to happen because if corruption infiltrates that if I one get to him, then institution, yeah. if corruption infiltrates that one institution, right, then you have a problem where justice cannot be handed down because mm. the prosecutors in that one institution is not uh, motivated to right. solve the crime right. or, or go after people. Right, right. So if you spread it out now where you have independent prosecutors in each parish mm -hmm. or prosecutor um, offices in each parish, mm -hmm. It's more likely that you're gonna have justice being served because you're gonna have prosecutors going after these individuals. Right. And if it's within their jurisdiction, yes, but exactly. Then, but then a, a step further than that is that even though you have independent, you should have independent prosecutors in in all fourteen parishes. Yeah, independent prosecutors that can run case. But then you should have a more federal system with an attorney general who can make a decision to say, okay. We noticed that the prosecutor in Sentan didn't go after this case. Mm. I can now take this case because I'm the attorney general for the entire island. Mm -hmm. And I can now take this case or my, my department can take this case and we can review it. And if we feel like laws were break, broken and people's rights were violated, we can then now go after these people. I believe Paula Lowell is like the federal like prosecutor. Like the, the, the attorney general. Yeah, yeah, yeah she's like okay. that. But in my opinion... But she's still governing the local... Yeah, she's... Yeah, yeah so, so, so it's, it's not... It's, it's not, not independent. It's not, it's not independent. It has to be independent. It's, it's, it needs to be separated. Right. So, 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 okay. 
yeah you guys make some like at the, i like i like the point that they've just make in terms of like you having like a federal um prosecutor where can pick up yeah. case and then also you mentioned a, a great point in term in terms of having different prosecutor right. and different offices because it's like if all of us is working together obviously be yeah, like yo it's like, like jay, jay don't this, prosecute that yeah thing. like do that person right. like yeah, I, I i say we should just do this right yeah so this is the thing though right it, it rec- this for a system like this to take place it requires a constitutional change mm-hmm. and if jamaica is going to mm-hmm. go ahead and enact a system like this it makes sense for us to become a republic right in this case um and this comes back to what we were talking about with prince philip absolutely it, it brings up the idea of us becoming a republic instead of a monarch because yeah. Jamaica constitution is not written by Jamaicans like all the American constitution is written by, by Americans, Americans. Right, right. it's written by England but but so, my, my question is right yeah. Jamaica is suffering from a battered, battered woman's syndrome battered with a woman syndrome basically says that a woman in a relationship with a man and the man beat her every day she love him more the same thing like when 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 you have and she will profess and she will do whatever and jamaica is like that jamaica has been abused by the uk it has if if you really look at it if you really want to be honest with yourself about it the systems the problems that jamaica face Right, mm. and this the, 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 dealing with crime. I'm not talking about economically uh, because e- economics will come if crime go. Mm. But dealing with crime, Jamaica get handcuffed by the monarch, right? Based upon the fact that they feel as if okay, well, we don't do this, and the resources that what that England has, Jamaica do not have. Okay. The the kind of things that England or uh, 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 the UK can do, Jamaica cannot do. So Jamaica's laws have to kind of reflect and work within the rims of what they have. Jamaica, right now, you can't. The the the, 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 the crown is against the death penalty. If 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 like even with the vibes cartel case, he's appealing to 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 to, to the privy council. It makes no sense. Your well, your, sir, your, 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 your 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 um slave master, no said to you. You're free, but then your slave master still making decision as to what you do in your country. It don't make sense to me. Well, all right. So this is the thing, right? Um, a lot of people agree with what you say, and um, I, you know, both political parties agree that Jamaica should break away from the monarch to get that independence. And instead of the privy council being the final court of appeal in Jamaica, it would be the Caribbean court of justice, which would make like make the whole caricom thing come together okay right it would be the caribbean court of justice i'm still not but we have to see how that working because yeah, that's I'm, still a pit i think you have to be careful yeah of. i'm not it's still with the whole um thing with um the privy council i'm not 100 percent against the privy council because again it, it kind of takes away the corruption side of things because right. the privy council is not corrupt right yes yeah, so no i understand that, that. Yes, and Jamaica has a lot of corruption going on. I understand, but they're still making decisions on Jamaica's yeah, future. Yeah, but you but have to be careful. Like, like this is where I'm Andrew, and, Andrew Holness and myself agree. Mm-hmm. Like he says, basically, we, we should get, get an economic independence before we go for our political independence. Because Jamaica thinks so we we politically free from the crown, but we're not, right? So, but Andrew but, Holness is saying, basically, do the economic first. And fix what's over here right now, and then we go for the full independence. But here's where I disagree with Andrew. Yeah, you cannot have an economical depend, the uh, independent. You cannot have an economic boom in Jamaica until the crime get fixed, and yeah. the, the 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 UK system is hampering yeah. Jamaica from taking some real, real hard step to fix that problem. So but, we're in the but cycle. The thing, but the thing is that are the politicians willing to make those steps because? Again, they can make amendments to the um to the constitution, constitution right, right. to make it work. Right, right. But the politicians are just not, willing. Are not willing to make that change. Well, let me so, ask a question, right? Yeah. Andrew on this he's been um sworn in um as Minister of Education in two thousand seven, mm-hmm. September of two thousand seven, right? Yeah. And so, uh, um what's his name? Um uh, Bruce, Bruce Gordon. Gordon, yeah. Yeah, so we would like to say that he's a very smart guy. Like Shani mentioned earlier um, in the video, right? Yeah. That he, he he had some bold statement, right? He's very smart. Um, don't, I don't take that from him. Under all this, he's very smart. All this. All this, To correct yeah. you. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, so, like, we would like to say that he's a, he's a smart guy, right? Mm-hmm. Um, and he made some bold comments to get into office, right? Right. Mm-hmm. My question is, right, it's been, like, it's been years, and every every country you go to, 
the the the, the community always have an issue with with, with the um with, with with the president or the prime minister and and, and so on, right? Uh -huh. Do you feel like because Jamaica is under still under the leadership of Britain, right? Do you feel like it's some some certain restrictions there that he's not able to make certain things nah, that he want to well, do? No, he's the prime minister. Mm -hmm. He has he has absolute power in mm -hmm. a way. Um, in certain yeah, he has absolute powers. He can go ahead and make amendments to the constitution. He can override if the queen come from England and say, "Yo, I want to do this," he can override it. Parliament can override it. You right. understand? It's the same thing in the UK. It's because the monarch is more of a um a, a figurehead, really. A figurehead. Yeah, pretty it, much. It's, it's not more really. for ceremonial purposes. <coughs> right. You understand? Um, you can override it. However, with with the whole we talked about this before with um the whole um, mental health issue that Jamaica right. has, with the idea of the sim the symbolism that's there. Right with the crown mm -hmm. and people of Jamaica knowing that yeah this is what enslaved us, mm -hmm. this is what brought oppression to us. Right. It it puts people mindset in a way where it's like oh we really don't care. This is not our st our um land. Right, right, right. We right. don't feel like it's our land. They right. feel like it's still we're still it, ruled by by exactly. the British. Exactly. Right. Because you're still mm -hmm. going into the courtroom saying God saved the queen. Which when, the, when, the, when the queen is the one that enslaved you. Right, right, right. Um, you still, um, you know, the, you still have, when you go into parliament, they have the throne speech, mm -hmm. which is a speech of like um, the queen. Mm -hmm. it, it, but in, in the queen's place in Jamaica is the governor, governor general. general. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The throne <sighs> speech. You still have the man them walk around with them, them um, British military uniform yeah, yeah, yeah. around there. And Jamaica adopted the British military um um traditions mm -hmm. as ours so a lot of our history is entangled with england right, right so it's like it's difficult in my opinion it's very difficult for jamaica to leave the system without taking that with us because right, right, right. we already tangled ourselves right, with us right. you see that's why i said like with guyana with guyana and um and some and other countries what they did immediately after independence is to dissolve the system mm -hmm. they said look we don't want the colonial system jamaica hang on to it right. and in some cases that made jamaica successful and not successful right you understand and if you look at and you see the thing is that that system would be successful right without the crime issue that jamaica has right now mm -hmm. right because post the crime issue which was post um siaga manly era mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. jamaica economy was striving jamaica economy was running this was growing the same rate as singapore right right but as soon as the 80s hit mm -hmm. where you had that 1980s election mm -hmm. or mid 70s right right jamaica economy tank right. because of the crime issue that started happening in jamaica well if, if but, so you see ever since that happened mm -hmm. jamaica economy been stagnant <laughs>